for a minute, I'ma get lazy. Yeah. Yo, so I basically watched this video where it's saying that the virus is man-made. I'm gonna let y'all watch this video real quick and I'm gonna tell y'all what I this think. Be bioterrorism. Before you call me a conspiracy theorist, here's a video of Bill Gates from 2017 saying man made viruses could be a threat. We also face a new threat that the next epidemic uh, has a good chance of originating on a computer screen of a terrorist intent on using genetic engineering to create a synthetic version of the smallpox virus or a contagious, contagious and highly deadly strain of flu. So the point is that we ignore the strong link between health security and international security at our peril. Whether it occurs by the quirk of nature or at the hand of a terrorist, epidemiologists show through their models that a respiratory spread pathogen would kill more than 30 million people in less than a year. And there is a reasonable probability of that taking place in the years ahead. I'm not a scientist or an investigative journalist, but I'm also not a moron. Here's a tweet from China Daily in May of 2018. Take a look at the largest virus bank in Asia. Wuhan Institute of Virology in central China's Hubei province preserves more than 1,500 different strains of viruses. People's Daily China, January 2018. China's first biosafety level 4 lab has been put into operation in Wuhan, central China's Hubei. It is capable of experimenting with highly pathogenic microorganisms. The lab will conduct research into antivirus drugs and vaccines. So Wuhan, China, where this strand of coronavirus happened to start, has a few very important labs where they hold and experiment on live viruses, including what they're bragging about is the biggest one in Asia. Speaking of labs in Wuhan where the virus started, NBC News, January 28th, 2020, Harvard's chemistry chair charged with lying about China contract. Federal agents allege the professor violated U.S. law by not disclosing the money he received to the Defense Department, NBC News. So the chair of Harvard's Department of Chemistry and Chemical Biology allegedly violated federal law by not disclosing his involvement in China's Thousand Talents plan to the Defense Department, including money he received. The unsealed charging documents allege that under the Thousand Talents contract, Lieber was paid 50000 in monthly salary by China's Wuhan University of Technology and another 158000 in living living expenses. Here's where it gets more interesting. He was also awarded some $1.74 million to set up a research lab there. Uh, okay. So if you're following so far, 1,500 live viruses bragging about Wuhan, a stage four lab in Wuhan that's the biggest one in Asia, a major figure at Harvard University lying to the Department of Defense and taking millions of dollars to set up a lab in Wuhan, China. Isn't that a bit interesting? I don't know if it has anything to do with it, but what I do know is what I started off saying, is it possible that bioterrorism is a thing? Well, of course, Bill Gates thinks so, but we're gonna look into it further. That the next epidemic uh, has a good chance of originating on a computer screen. CBC, can you patent a disease? This was posted on June 12th, 2013, and it says here, Dutch group patented genome of Middle East coronavirus, which has killed more than 30 people. So they're talking about a coronavirus that's killing people that a Dutch group had a patent on. In this article, it says, the outbreak of a novel coronavirus in the Middle East is not only raising worldwide health concerns, but triggering questions about the ability of organizations to patent the genetic sequences of disease for profit. And then they say the World Health Organization reports that there have been 53 lab confirmed cases of infection with a new coronavirus called the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, MERS. In this article, Albert Austin House, a virologist at Aerosmiths, told Bloomberg News that patenting the virus was a normal thing to do. Indeed, the patenting of genetically modified or isolated viruses is nothing new, says David Schwartz, a patent lawyer and partner at the Canadian intellectual property firm Smart and Bigger. You can't patent a disease condition per se, such as cancer or influenza, says Schwartz. But if you're talking about patenting a life form like a bacteria or virus, if altered by man, the answer there is yes. They also went on to say, you can't patent something that is naturally occurring, he says, but if an organism is modified in some way, it is patentable. So you can not only patent the cure or the vaccine to a disease, but you can actually patent the virus itself. Uh, what else can you do? Well, New York Times, a federal ban on making lethal viruses is lifted. This is from December 19th, 2017. Interestingly enough, they use a colorized electron micrograph of the coronavirus that causes Middle East respiratory syndrome or MERS, 
Federal officials ended a moratorium imposed on funding research that alters viruses like this one to become more lethal. Federal officials on Tuesday ended a moratorium imposed three years ago on funding research that alters germs to make them more lethal. And once again, the headline, a federal ban on making lethal viruses is lifted. So in some cases, it's not only legal to make a virus more lethal, but you're also allowed to patent the virus itself. You could look into articles I've read multiple on this stuff. Why are they doing that? Why are they lifting bans? Well, apparently they want to study the virus, of course, like they did in Wuhan. You know, study it so they can learn more about it so they can heal people. But I'm sure that there's no possible way that somebody could play Frankenstein and create the monster that they didn't mean to, or in many cases, did mean to. And this is not a conspiracy theory. Bill Gates himself suggests this stuff. We also face a new threat that the next epidemic uh, has a good chance of originating on a computer screen of a terrorist intent on using genetic engineering to create a synthetic version of the smallpox virus or a contagious, contagious and highly deadly strain of flu. So these are just multiple things that are really interesting to me about what's going on that most people don't know and most news sources aren't covering. Another interesting thing that a lot of people online have been speculating is why thousands of CEOs have been stepping down, not only now, this week, last week, but over the last year, thousands have been stepping down. What's going on? It's been so crazy that NBC also wrote an article about it. Why have more than 1,300 CEOs left their post in the past year? This article is from 2019 and it says, Chief executives are leaving in record numbers this year with more than 1,332 stepping aside in the period from January through the end of October, according to new data released on Wednesday. While it's not unusual to see CEOs fleeing in the middle of a recession, it is noteworthy to see such a rash of executive exits amid robust corporate earnings and record stock market highs. Of course, this is when the stock market was booming. Thousands of them a couple months ago were just fleeing their post. This article goes on to say last month, 172 chief executives left their job, according to executive placement firm Challenger Grand Christmas. It's the highest monthly number on record, and the year-to-date total outpaces even the wave of executive exits during the financial crisis. So I say this to say, did these CEOs have insight that the global economy was going to tank and something was going on? It's very, very unusual. They broke a record of CEOs leaving, and most time that many CEOs leave, it's because there's already a recession. But it seems like they had a heads up. A lot of people on the internet are speculating that they're going to be held accountable, and there's going to be a a secret tribunal. I personally don't think so. I think they had a heads up on the economic collapse and they got out of the way and possibly saved money or responsibility for when it did. What's also interesting is Event 201, which a lot of people have been talking about. It is, according to them, a fictional exercise and disease that they ran. They ran a whole meeting thing and filmed it and basically said it was a prop or staged pandemic. They were just speculating or simulating it. This happened in October of 2019 and was released on YouTube in November of 2019 by the people at Johns Hopkins World Economic Forum and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, among others. And you can see some clips from this. It's very, very creepy. began in healthy-looking pigs months, perhaps years ago. A new coronavirus spread silently within herds. Gradually, farmers started getting sick. Infected people got a respiratory illness with symptoms ranging from mild flu-like signs to severe pneumonia. The sickest required intensive care. Many died. Experts agree, unless it is quickly controlled, it could lead to a severe pandemic, an outbreak that circles the globe and affects people everywhere. How should governments, business, and international organizations allocate and distribute pandemic antivirals and medical supplies to the people who need them most? Public health agencies have issued travel advisories while some countries have banned travel from the worst affected areas. As a result, the travel sector is taking a huge hit. Travel bookings are down 45% and many flights have been canceled. The outcome of the CAPS pandemic in Event 201 was catastrophic. 65 million people died in the first 18 months. The outbreak was small at first and initially seemed controllable, but then it started spreading in densely crowded and impoverished neighborhoods of megacities, 
From that point on, the spread of the disease was explosive. Within six months, cases were occurring in nearly every country. The global economy was in a free fall. The GDP down 11 percent. Stock markets around the world plummeted between 20 and 40 percent and headed into a downward cycle of fear and low expectation. Businesses were not borrowing. Banks were not lending. Everyone was just hoping to hunker down and weather the storm. Economists say the economic turmoil caused by such a pandemic will last for years, perhaps a decade. The societal impacts, the loss of faith in government, the distrust of news, and the breakdown of social cohesion could last even longer. A lot of people are speculating on this too, and whether it was their expertise and they just knew something would happen based on their research, or if you look into a lot of stuff, what was going on in Wuhan, what's going on here, a lot of stuff in the world, what Bill Gates said a few years ago, it could be a bioterrorism weapon. I don't know, and I'm not trying to say I do, but this question I'm asking is very valid, and I'm wondering why nobody in the media is asking this question. And I'm gonna end this video by saying two things that media experts should be saying, but I don't hear them saying too. The first one is these case numbers that they're talking about confirmed cases, they're way, 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 way lower than they are in reality because most people can't access a test kit. If you're the Utah Jazz, if you're a celebrity actor, apparently you can get a test kit if you don't even have symptoms. But a lot of people in this country and around the world who have massive, massive symptoms are getting rejected for tests. So of course this confirmed case number is going to be higher. So until the end of the year, it's completely over. We're not going to know a lot of things, including the death rate, including the confirmed cases. And the more confirmed cases, it's probably going to lower the death rate if you just follow basic basic math. We'll find out. I'm not saying that for sure, but these are things that nobody's talking about. And the second thing I want to say is we need to get to the bottom of what actually happened here because what we're seeing in many ways is crazier than what happened in 9-11 as far as the ability to shut down the entire United States economy. You're talking about curfews, you know, business, mandatory government business shutdowns. This is unfathomably crazy. Now, I'm not freaking out. Be prepared. Don't be scared. But we need to get to the bottom of this. We can't face this every single year. If this was bioterrorism, Somebody has to figure it out. If it wasn't, we have to be more prepared for this type of stuff and really have intelligent people, world leaders, politicians, scientists, virologists have the discussion about what's the proper measures to tackle something like this, if this is it, or if there's another method in the future that's not so ridiculously costly on millions of small businesses that might never be able to recover from this. Our economy, which has been tested in a way like it's never been tested before, this is crazier than the 2008 crash. The point I'm getting to is we need to get to the bottom of this. Smart people, good people, media experts that claim they're helping us, but really just run us in circles, lie to us, feed us unhealthy products, feed us over prescriptions constantly, feed you sugar and tell your kids to eat sugar cereal in the morning and then tell you, oh, we're helping for you. We're really concerned about your health. I just have a hard time. These same people that are so obsessed with abortions and the most disgusting diets that they told us to eat in the 80s and 90s all of a sudden just really care about our health. Listen to the president, listen to the vice president, listen to the medical experts. I'm telling people to follow the rules right now and really protect yourself. That's what I'm doing. I'm not saying this isn't serious. I'm saying it is serious and I wanna get to the bottom of it because like Bill Gates mentioned and many people are speculating, this could have been a bioweapon of some sorts and the fact that you can create viruses, patent viruses, patent the cure to viruses. Every system is corrupt and it's kind of naive to just assume, oh, you can't possibly question that or we'll delete your Facebook or Google account because that could never happen, you crazy kook, even though it's happened in the past. And of course it could happen. Even Bill Gates said it could happen. That's all I'm doing. And I hope that everybody stays safe and secure. I've already helped out multiple families that told me they couldn't buy groceries or diapers. And I will continue to do that even though I don't have the most money in the world. I've been successful enough with my video to make enough to have money for myself. And at this point, it's really just numbers on a computer. So I'd rather people get food and diapers and help as many people as I can and hopefully inspire others to help their community members or maybe big influencers or millionaires and billionaires that have thousands of times more money than I have to help some people at this time. And if you'd like to support me right now, the best way to do that would be to share this video, watch this video, and watch my other videos. And I will take a portion of that ad revenue this month and last month to feed some families of supporters who watch my channel and are being affected by what's going on. And we're gonna get to the bottom of this. Thank you guys, have a beautiful day. I'll be back with more. Hey, no, the video said, can the virus be, uh, can a virus be made? Can a virus, can a virus be made made? Yeah. Yeah, it can, and it can be platinum. You can get paid for making a virus.
Yeah. That's retarded. Depending on how many people you kill, and then depending on how many people you kill after making that goddamn virus. Yeah, but then ain't that the freaking legal? But it should be care. illegal. It's called crowd control. There's no, it's not crowd humans. control. It's called public. Uh, something. Population There's too many something. Humans, so they gotta do something to cut down on all the humans, alright? The world can't sustain all these motherfuckers that keep getting born, alright? Well, pe keeping people in the house is gonna make more. <laughs> what do you mean? It's a, it's a, it's a fact. Like, I got a video with uh, Day Storm telling you the facts about. Yo, what was it? Don't rub against me, dog. You fur all wet now. Now you gonna smell like a wet dog. You already smell like a wet dog. Get away. <laughs> I'm about to show y'all. It's a fact that 5,000 people are having sex. <laughs> you know that? Well, I hope they use some type of protection or birth control. Like, we don't need no more people being born right now. Because y'all stuck in a goddamn house and y'all bored. <laughs> Can't stop that. Keep sniffing my fat. You can't find on our YouTube channel. What? What are you doing? There it goes. Get down. Look. Hey. <laughs> it's the most popular meal ordered in six Truck by life. Six hundred. Six hundred. At any given time, here, here. five thousand people around the world are having sex. And all I have is you. <laughs> Your nose and ears never It's a fact. That any given time, 5,000 people are having sex How around the world. And all James has is his hands. <laughs> I don't know. That is... That's crazy though. If 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 the government did this this coronavirus, isn't it? That's they probably crazy did, and then made it start in China to make everybody mad at China. But all it is 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 a a snake and a bat, a bat mixed together. China people was trying to probably trying to mix a snake. No, but there's there, if you watch the video that I have on here, it tells you that China has a a, a lab that they're testing viruses. And then a one guy, one guy had had got paid fifty, fifty thousand dollars. I told you seventy five thousand dollars. What the fuck are you doing? Sit down. All you gotta do was come to me and say I want some more, and not move the goddamn boat. Put the boat down. She spilled that milk, and he drinking all of it. Now you gonna have the runs. How she spill it? Cause she picked the boat up. That's crazy though, but yeah. That's my opinion. I think this. I think this joint's all, all planned out. So, subscribe, like, share, do whatever you gotta do. Peace out.